Modbus TCP IP on a DYN5 servo drive is easy to use, reliable, and extremely versatile. On the Modbus TCP IP network, the controller has full access to the servo drive features including position, speed, and torque servo motor control, reading motor position speed or torque data, reading servo drive and motor status, and read and write access to all servo drive parameters. In this demonstration, we will cover the full hardware and software setup on both servo drive and controller side, as well as sending and reading position and speed commands with the servo drive. For the latest, most up-to-date information regarding the DYN5 servo drive and Modbus TCP IP specifications, refer to our product page on our website. The main components used are two DYN5 servo drive axes with Modbus TCP IP option, a PC computer, and a PLC controller, which is an Automation Direct Productivity P1000. Here are the local IP addresses we will use for each device in this demonstration. We'll start with the ping network test with the PC. We first set up the DYN5 servo drive. Connect the servo drive to PC using USB cable. Install and launch the DMM DRV5 program. Establish connection with the servo drive by opening the connect screen. Press detect COM port. Select detected COM port. Then press connect. Open the servo settings screen. In the gear number parameter, set the setting to 16384. This parameter will be used when we send position command to the servo drive later. Select Ethernet mode in the servo drive and set the IP address accordingly. Click Save All to save these new settings. Then power cycle the servo drive to complete servo drive configuration. Connect an Ethernet cable from JP5A into the PC. Connect the RJ45 end terminator into JP5B. Open the command prompt and ping the servo drive IP address to check that a response is received. This confirms that the servo drive is correctly in Ethernet mode and our IP address settings are correct. Next, we can test the Modbus TCP IP communication with the PC computer as Modbus client. Download, install, and launch the Modbus Pull program. Both the DYN5 servo drive and PC are set up exactly the same as in Section 1. Click Connection, Connect, Select Modbus TCP IP, then input the servo drive IP address. Leave everything else as default, then click OK. In the default program setting, the program reads from the servo drive Modbus registers once a second and increments the counter and displays the data in the registers. This confirms the servo drive Modbus TCP IP communication with the PC is active. For Modbus Pull, we have full read and write access to the servo drive Modbus registers. For example, to read the motor position, we can see in the DYN5 servo drive Modbus TCP IP manual, the motor position is stored in registers hexadecimal 1D and 1E. Go to Setup, Read Write Definitions. Select Hex Address Mode. Input 1D starting address and read two register quantities. We can leave the scan rate at 1 second. Everything else is default, then click OK. The program is now reading from registers 1D and 1E. The motor position is a 32-bit signed position, so we can combine the two registers to display the full 32-bit motor position. We can send the profile position command using registers hex 17 and 18. Recall on the servo drive setup, we set gear number parameter to 16384. This sets the electronic gearing to 1 to 1. We're using a 16-bit encoder so a command of 65536 will rotate the motor one revolution. Go to functions, select function code 16 and write multiple registers. Input starting address 17 and two register quantities. Select int32 data type. Double click on register to change the data. Then input 65536. Click send to send the command. Every time send is clicked, the motor will rotate one revolution in positive direction. 
In the PLC test, we will use two axes to show a multi-axis example. The DYN5 servo drive has built-in network switch capability which allows daisy chain connection of multiple axes. Connect the Modbus client to the first axis JP5A port. Then from the first axis JP5B, connect into the second axis JP5A, and so on until the last axis. On the last axis servo drive JP5B, connect the network end terminator. Set each servo drive to a unique IP address. Our demo consists of two axes and each device IP address is as shown. Put both servo drives into Ethernet mode and set unique IP address following section 1 of this video. Our example PLC program is as shown. Axis 1 is sent the speed command and motor speed is read back. Axis 2 is sent the relative position command and position is read back. This example PLC program download link is in the video description. In the first two rungs, we simply copy the data into the appropriate tags. We set the speed command to 10 for 10 RPM. We set the position command to 5000 for 5000 points position command. Recall the electronic gearing ratio is 1 to 1, so a position command of 5000 will move the motor about 27.47 degrees in positive clockwise direction since we're using a 16-bit resolution encoder. Rung 3 is the Modbus write speed command to axis 1. Input the axis 1 servo drive IP address. We set automatic polling at 1 second so command is sent automatically every second. Select zero based Modbus addressing and input the address as 14 to correspond to hex address E, which is servo drive turn constant speed command to register. The speed command is just one register, so select write single register function and select our motor speed command data tag from rung 1. Rung 4 is the Modbus write relative position command to axis 2. Input the axis 2 servo drive IP address. Set automatic polling at 1 second so command is sent automatically every second. Select zero based Modbus addressing and input the address as 23 to correspond to X address 17 which is relative position command register. The position command is just two registers so select write multiple registers function and select our position command data tag from rung 2. Rung 5 is the Modbus read speed command to axis 1. Input the axis 1 servo drive IP address. Set automatic polling at 500 milliseconds so speed is read every half a second. Select zero based Modbus addressing and input the address as 20 to correspond to hex address 14 which is motor speed register. Select map 16 bit data to 32 bit to save the speed into a 32 bit data tag. Select Modbus function code 3, read holding register, and create a 32-bit data tag name to store the readout speed. Rung 6 is the Modbus read motor position command to axis 2. Input the axis 2 servo drive IP address. Set automatic pulling at 500 milliseconds so speed is read every half a second. Select zero-based Modbus addressing and input the address as 29 to correspond to hex address 1D, which is motor absolute position register. Select Modbus function code 3, read holding register, and create a 32-bit data tag name to store the readout position. Compile, write, and run the PLC program with the servo drives. Turn on the PLC data monitor. The Axis 1 servo drive will rotate the motor at 10 RPM. In the Axis 1 read speed data tag, it will show the motor speed as read from the servo drive. The Axis 2 servo drive will run the 5000 points relative position command every second. In the Axis 2 red position data tag, it will show the motor position as read from the servo drive, which will increment by 5000 each second as the motor runs the position command. This concludes our demonstration. Again, for the latest most up-to-date information regarding DYN5 servo drive and Modbus TCP IP specifications, refer to the main product page on our website.